Perhaps I can preface my formal remarks with two observations. First, I think each and every one of us would want to congratulate and express our tributes to Attitude magazine for all it has done in promoting in civil society an attitude of vastly greater respect for the LGBT community across this country. It is also a year which, on the 23rd of June, marked the 101st anniversary of the birth of a man to whom we are all, every single one of us here tonight, hugely in debt. Alan Turing. The words genius and hero are often banded about, but they fit few people more neatly than he. As a child, Alan Turing displayed a fascination for problem solving, which soon developed into a passion for mathematics. Friends, at the outbreak, of World War II, Alan Turing was called to work at Bletchley Park in Buckinghamshire, not very far from my own Buckingham constituency, and to do so in a secret department at the heart of the war effort, working to decode German communications to ensure that the British forces and their allies could stay one step ahead of the Nazi enemy. Historian and codebreaker Asa Briggs has stated, you needed exceptional talent, you needed genius at Bletchley, and Turing's was that genius. Turing's work at Bletchley Park saved colleagues millions, millions of lives, even entire nations. We ought to be grateful to him now, tomorrow, next month, next year, next decade, always. Sadly, our recent enlightenment, which is an immense credit to Parliament, as Ed Miliband eloquently indicated a few moments ago, has come far too late for the great man whom we are celebrating tonight, a World War II codebreaker, a genius mathematician, the founder of modern computers. Alan Turing died, ladies and gentlemen, at the age of just 41. Can you imagine what he could have achieved, what he would have done for the world if he had lived out his life to its full potential? Fellow Bletchley Pard codebreaker, Professor Jack Good has said of Turing, it was a good thing the authorities hadn't known he was a homosexual during the war, because if they had, they would have fired him and we would have lost. His terrible treatment, ladies and gentlemen, sledgehammers home an incontestable truth that is often missing from the fight for the human rights of LGBT people, a fight that still rages around the world today, that homophobia and transphobia do not just damage and destroy the lives of LGBT people, they diminish the lives of each and every one of us. <laughs> Honouring Alan Turing tonight cannot turn the clock back, it is too late for that. But what Attitude magazine is keen to do, and I am proud, ladies and gentlemen, to be its front man for the purpose, is publicly to honour this man, this gay man, this brilliant man who saved our country, a hero of global proportions to whom every single one of us owes so much. I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, to give the warmest and most effusive possible welcome to the people here tonight 
to collect the award. Two of Alan Turing's nieces, Mrs. Janet Robinson and Mrs. Ina Payne. Good evening. It's absolutely wonderful to be here, to meet you all. It's such an honor. I'm not used to these kind of things, but it's really lovely to see my uncle so honored. I'm sure he would have been proud. He didn't really do parties, but he was a quiet, unassuming person, and I think he would have been very, very pleased. Thank you so much. Congratulations, first of all, on behalf of Alan Turing. What an amazing story, and it's really, really touching. Yes, it's something that seems to be coming out of the woodwork over the years. Um, we, hadn't, we knew our uncle was uh, a one-off and very clever and done a lot for mathematics and science and had this marvellous mind, but it's only in later years that we've learned what he did, and it's such a shame he didn't live any longer. But in, in a way, this must feel so wonderful for you to be able to accept this award on his behalf. It's something really special. Well, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank and you. And congratulations. Yeah, it's been a great evening. Thank you.